So now in order to save the overall video information to Firestore database, you already know that for that purpose we have to convert the upload form data to JSON. Okay, once we convert the data to JSON, then we can save it inside the Firestore database. That thing I already explained in details when we were working on the sign up on the registration screen when we were registering a new user. So I hope you remember that. Okay, that is whenever we want to save information to the Firestore database, we convert that to JSON and then we save it. And then for the retrieval, when we want to retrieve information from the database, then that information comes in JSON format. So we have to basically when we get that information from the database, then we convert that from JSON to proper format. That is we assign it to the required attributes. So this was just a short uh, brief review okay so that you uh, realize that information which i have told you earlier when we were working on registration screen so same goes for the upload you know for the videos information which we will save now so what we can do is you already know that for the registration that is for the user registration we created the user model class okay and now for the videos we will create a video model class as this information is belongs to the videos of all users so right click on upload video folder new dot file and we can give it name as video so video dot, dot file is created so with the video information which we will save to the database it will have I mean the information is namely for example the first thing that we will save alongside with the video is the user who is going to upload this video so that user name so we can say user name and of course that user ID so we can say user ID please use the same variables name okay so that later you can remember it and you do not get confused let's say if I use different and you use different then maybe you will get confused later on so the same name you can give to these attributes okay so then after it alongside with it we will save the ID of video so we can save video ID so that we can recognize that specific video then for this video as you know the user will write some you know artist song name so we can say artist song let's say artist song name and then of course the description which the user will write for this or you can say the caption okay description and tags basically so we can say description tags Let me copy paste this. Then comes the the video which we are going to upload. For that, the download URL. So we can say video URL. Video download URL, or you can say just video URL is enough. Then after comes the thumbnail which we upload alongside with it for this video. So that will be thumbnail URL and also the date time that is on which date and time the user is basically uploading so let's give it name as published date date time of course published date time and then of course the each video will have different number of likes and different number of comments from different users you know that is your followers can like and comment on your video so we have to count the total number of comments and the total number of likes on you on your video or let's say on any user video actually okay so what we can do is we can say here integer total comments and of course the likes for the likes we will use list let's give it name as likes and also one more thing is for the future updates let's say in the future if you want to add also the share feature you know share video feature that is to allow other users to share your video with 
uh, people or let's say with their families and relatives etc just like you see in TikTok so if you want to add the share feature in the future in this TikTok clone so for that purpose of course for now you can initialize another integer type variables and that will be total shares that is it will basically to this we will add the total number of share that is share counter you can simply say and this one will be the comments counter you can say okay and to this of course we will save the people who likes your video okay so yeah now the next thing is to the constructor of this So using the video class constructor video we will pass this information okay that is whenever we need to save any information or whenever we need to retrieve any information from the database from the first store database we will use this video model class and let's say when we are saving information to the first store database so whenever we use or you can say we call we using the object of this class whenever we need it we will basically pass this information with the help of this constructor to it okay for example now for the uploading purposes that is when we save the video information to the database in that case we have to pass from our controller this specific information so when we pass it here it will be received with the help of this constructor and then of course we can convert that to json as a as a result that json data basically we will save to the firestore database now how let's just quickly do that just like we did on the registration screen you know let's give it name is to json So first we will convert the user ID to JSON one by one, okay? By the same keys we will have this in JSON, okay? So user ID, then of course the username. So this will basically convert our data to JSON format then this is for the saving feature that is whenever we want to save video information to the database then with the help of this to json we can convert the data to json the next thing is for the retrieving that is whenever we want to read some information from the database related to the video okay that is the video information then of course we have to convert the json data to proper normal format so we can say static video from document snapshot document snapshot snapshot using this snapshot object we can get the data which is coming from the database so we can say snapshot dot data as map string dynamic and we will assign this to a variable doc snapshot which means document snapshot return video and first from the JSON that is doc snapshot first from the JSON we will get the user ID and we will assign it to the required proper format variable or you can say to its attribute and which is basically you know that by the same name which is user ID this one okay user ID like that let me just copy paste it
after user ID we have username so the data which is coming from the database as you know it is in JSON format so what we do is we get that from JSON and we assign it to the required attribute similarly for example for the from the username we get from the JSON and we assign it to the required attribute or you can say variable then we get the video ID from JSON we assign it to video ID attribute then we get the total comments from JSON format and we assign it to the total comments attribute and so on for the other ones so this is all about our video model class now we can simply uh, save our video information to Firestore database